What's the old line, Patty? Something along the lines, without the Bucks, there's no Buck Rogers, and sponsorship <laughs> has become the lifeblood of the air show industry. Yeah, I mean, it really always has been. You know, if you look back at the old, like Roscoe Turner in the 30s, he was sponsored by Gilmore, you know, oil company, and had Gilmore the Lion. I mean, sponsorship's been important to air shows and barnstormers from, from day one, and it's just as important today as it was back then. It's obvious from the 2009 season that one, the air show industry not only did well, it prospered under uh, tough circumstances, but it seems now that the air show industry and individual performers present more potential value for the dollar than virtually any other industry. Yeah, I mean, and that's what the demographics say, and, you know, the statistics, and apparently attendance was way up, and that's what I saw at air shows. But it's a really tough business. It's tough because it's a small group. Everybody does it completely differently. It's not like we all work the same way. So you have some performers that have, well, some performers can't charge a fee by nature of their sponsor. Let's say it's a military, you know, arm of the military or, you know, a guard or a reserve or something. And so they are even forbidden from charging a fee. And so the sponsors bring them to the air show, you know, pay their performer fee. And it's hard for me as a performer that charges a fee to compete against that, you know. And there's more of those performers that aren't charging these days. So it's hard. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. How do you approach a potential sponsor in this day and age? What's the process like? People have different theories and philosophies about how to approach sponsors. Some people will send out a hundred packets sort of like cold calling, you know, blind send outs to marketing departments. I've done that in the past. I've never really had any luck with it. I think you have to have a personal contact and relationship with somebody. So it's about, you know, the relationships that you already have or somebody that can introduce you to somebody. Um, you know, it's tough. If you go to a big company like Coca-Cola, let's say, you have, um, you know, they have their marketing people. There's a high turnover in the marketing department. There's a lot of young people. And um, then they also have like an ad agency, you know, or an ad agency who wants to make decisions too. So you're dealing with agencies, you're dealing with in-house marketing. Everybody wants it to be their idea. It's very, very difficult. So for me, I've always preferred to stay in the industry, like with Goodrich and Cirrus and Paulo Lorenz, people like that, because I want to be around people that understand what I do and do something I really believe in. Luckily, I have a lot of relationships with people in the industry. It's just a very tough time. So for me, it's about cultivating relationships, I guess, and then building on that. You know, making contact, giving them a little pitch, seeing if they're interested, and then once you get your foot in the door, keep it in there and wedge further and further until you have them convinced that you're a good bang for the buck. Why should a sponsor look at the air show industry or a specific performer? What I tell potential sponsors is you can go get a NASCAR, you know, driver or a you know, somebody that, you know, a football player, whatever, somebody that has a lot of television presence. That's the big difference between what we do and what other, say, sports or events do, is our television presence is much lower. But we have something that they don't have. We have much more personal contact with the crowd, personal signing autographs, going to schools. I know that other people do that as well, but... But it's different going to an air show. You know how it is. You go there, you're able to see the performer, you can smell the airplane, you can get up close to them, they'll come to the fence afterwards. And we're good at that. That's what we do. And I think that, you know, with an air show performer, you can do things that you can't do in any other event. I can, if anybody's interested, just let, you know, let me know and I'll give you a list of things that we can do and tell you more about it. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. What's the future for all this? Are we going to see better, more developed, more savvy sponsorship, or is it going to be pretty much up to the innovation of the industry itself, the individual performer, or for that matter, the industry overall? 
Well, right now it's really up to the individual performer. We don't have any, um, there's no agencies out there, and I've talked to all of them, and I know a lot of the performers have that, that will really take on a performer or a group of performers. It's very hard to talk like an IMG or ProServe type company into representing us because we're such a small niche. So everybody's out there on their own doing their own thing and, and um, everybody does a little bit differently. So I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be really wonderful if one of the agencies was able to take us on or, or would take us on and see the potential and see the value of it. And if somebody in our industry is able to talk them into it, all the more power to them. Because that's really what we need, you know, is representation. So instead of just being out there on our own, it's very hard. And finally, can this industry exist without a greater level of participation from potential sponsors? Can we really make progress without building better marketing partnerships in the future? Well, the industry's existed for a really long time. And I think, I think the air shows will be around for, for as long as, you know, small airplanes or military airplanes are around. So, yeah, I think it will, but it, it's going to have to, it, it would change things a lot. It's hard because you can't make a living if this is your primary job. Now, a lot of the performers do it sort of part-time or they have airline jobs. They may be total professionals, but they also have another job. They're lawyers, whatever they might do. But say, say for me, this is my primary you know, means of making a living. I can't make a living without a sponsor. You cannot charge enough. And because of the, the delta in the way performers charge, I can't raise my fee. It's very hard, you know. It's, uh, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll make it work. You know, and I think we're pretty good at selling ourselves, and we just, it's, it's just the economy is very tough right now. Well, we wish you the best of luck for 2010. Thank you.